So I set up to do two more examples of these kind of problems. Uh, first of all, let's suppose that someone gave us 15 moles of this. And we want to know how many liters of that would be produced. Well, would you need to do the first step where you change grams to moles? No, because it's already in moles. So it would be 15 moles of aluminum carbonate you'd write down. You're looking for uh, carbon dioxide liters, so before you can find the liters, you've got to change the moles. So you're going to do the second step of this, of the three-step algorithm that I mentioned in the first video. Let me just write it down here. Number one was change to moles. Number two in the algorithm was the mole ratio. You will always use the mole ratio. Number three is change to whatever unit you want. I'll just put down change the unit. In this case, the unit's liters. So do I need to do step one? No, it's already in moles. Step two, yes, mole ratio. So aluminum carbonate on the bottom because whatever is at the top of the previous over here goes on the bottom. And on the top would be moles of uh, carbon dioxide. And we can see there's a three up there and a one over here. So if there's nothing there, it's an implied one. Now, just instead of stopping to work it out, I'm just going to go ahead. You know, you know that's 45 moles, but we can just keep working with ratios. So on the bottom, what would go? These are cancel. Whoops. We know that the this stuff here is canceled right there, and that cancels. Okay. So this ratio is going to have moles of CO2 on the bottom. And on the top, since we're looking for liters, we put liters of CO2. One goes in moles, and there are 22.4 liters in a mole. So now you got 15 times 3 times 22.4. So that would be 45 times 22.4. 1,008 liters. So a final answer, 1,008 liters. Whoops, too many zeros. 1008 liters. There you go. All right, suppose now, next scenario, what if we're given, um, I don't know, say 320 grams of this, and we want to know how many moles that was. So would we need to do the first step of the three-step algorithm? Yes. So you take our 320 grams of iron three oxide, you would need to change that to moles. So you put grams of Fe2O3 on the bottom. You put moles of Fe2O3 on the top. And one mole, 160 grams. I got 160, by the way, by using the weight of iron, 56 times 2, plus the weight of oxygen, 16 times 3, 112, 48. Add them together, you get 160. So that's where that 160 came from. Okay, second step, it wants to know moles of iron 3 hydroxide, so using the second step, the mole ratio step, you'd put moles of Fe2O3 on the bottom, because you want to cancel it right here, then you put moles of FeOH3 on top, because that is what you're looking for. Now what's the number in front? 2 and 1. So now if we work the problem, our unit will be Our unit will be moles because these cancel, those have canceled. So our unit is moles of FeOH3. So doing the math, 320 times 1 times 2 divided by 160 is equal to 4 moles. Now, why didn't I have FeOH3? Why didn't I go the third step of the algorithm where I changed my unit? because my question said how many moles. If the question had been how many grams, then I would go ahead and do the third step where I need to change to grams. So there you go. Check the homework on the website uh, for practice problem assignment in this, um, on this topic. And these are the easy ones. Harder ones are coming, so be sure you master these.